Welcome to Mimi Knows Best. Here we are one more week. And before I start, I just want to thank you so much because you've been amazing. Yes, you've been amazing with me. You've been really common and say beautiful things and I truly appreciate that. And today I want to talk to you about burnout. What things really cause burnout and how do we achieve burnout recovery? So many things happen in our lives and we are surrendered by so many people in so many things and we can get to a point that we are burnout. out. Also, even though that we might be at the peak of our, our careers, it might happen that you kind of feel apathy, that you don't feel really like you're growing anymore. And there is certain things that really cause burnout. And one of the things that really cause burnout is not to know how to say no or when to say no. Sometimes the thing is that we don't know when to say no and we keep just procrastinating when we really don't agree with something or we want to withdraw from a project or something. We don't know when is the right moment to say no. And another thing is that we really don't know how to say no. So a lot of times it's cultural and we say yes, 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 but we mean, okay, no, no, no. And I have realized it in a lot of cultures, but in any case, um, we have to be very careful to really overcommit ourselves to things that really we, wanna do, we don't wanna do. So it's good that we ask ourselves the question, do I really wanna do that? And that we learn to say no. And this brings really a feeling of liberation and freedom that you could not believe. For many years, I was there. I was always saying yes, 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 yes to everything. You have to say yes to everything that comes your way in the universe, but not yes, yes, yes to everyone. <laughs> but just yes to, of course, to things that it could be a challenge and it could just give you the opportunity to grow, but be careful to say yes to things that you really don't want to do. And this is the question that you have to ask yourself. What is the benefit of me saying yes to this on if it's not benefit absolutely for me because it doesn't make me feel good then forget it this is really what we're looking for for the feeling that feeling good and normally we know we know when we say yes to something or to someone and we don't feel so good about it we have this kind of feeling of despair inside and we also ask ourselves why i say yes why i commit to this right you have that feeling right I did, so I'm sure you also have it sometimes. So this is important that we know that these kind of behaviors don't know when to say no or how to say no could cause for us to be born out. Another thing is to be in a very toxic environment and around toxic people. When you are in a place that people are really toxic, the environment is toxic and the energy is not so good because people just criticize or are in a bad mood or they are very negative and you are surrounded by that, this really causes burnout. And the reason is because your energy is sucked. And when the energy is sucked, obviously you're feeling like you are burnout out because you have no energy. So it is important that we withdraw ourselves from these kind of situations because at the end of the day, all of this toxicity is not beneficial for all of us. Another thing that really brings burnout is to prioritize others over yourself. Um, it is a little bit controversial because we believe that to be a good person is just to be of service and it's true. You have to be of service, but the first person that you need to serve is yourself. You cannot be of service to others when you're not able to really take good care of yourself and to be of service of yourself. And in this case, it is important that we don't prioritize others and we understand that first we need to cover our needs and then we are more able and available also to take care of other people's needs. Other thing that really cause a lot of burnout is people pleasing. You're gonna be the whole day pleasing people because at the end of the day, you're gonna really be depleted of your own energy. And that is really time consuming. And some people, no matter what you do, what you say, they might never like you. So don't go all the other way just to 
have that somebody really like you because sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Another thing is the superhero syndrome. Uh-huh, I know about this one. Yes, I do. I know because sometimes we believe that we could be superheroes and it's great. <laughs> but be careful because superheroes, we cannot do it all. And it's true that even though that, of course, we could do many things, we couldn't do everything at the same time. So it's good that we realize that this thing of super multitasking that a lot of superheroes, and I know some of you women, that sometimes we believe that we could just cover everything and that we are great multitasking. I do believe in do something after another thing and do it right and try to do the best you can. And if you get to a point that you cannot do it, it's okay. Another day, okay? So just be gentle to yourself and don't overdo because at the end of the day, this is also another thing that is gonna lead you straight to burnout. And realistic expectations. We have to have goals and it's great to have goals. But sometimes we don't understand that a goal is one thing after another. You couldn't wake up on the bed one day, finish your school university and just think the next day you're gonna be the president of a company because it doesn't work that way. You need to work hard and it's a way. You can definitely get there. You will. The thing is that everything has a process and that's the reason why it's very important that we don't have huge expectations without the preparation that requires and the time that requires. It is a book that I always recommend and I love and it's this book called Maestri from Robert Greene and it says that it requires 10,000 hours, 10,000 hours minimum, sometimes in order to master something. So be careful when you put these expectations because everything requires its time and its preparation. Having little control over what are you doing. I mean, it is important to understand that you are the captain of your life and you are the captain of your, your projects and everything. So in this case, be careful about not losing the control and that other people start to control your lives because also that really creates a lot of, a lot of burnout. When you feel that your life in the hands of others and i'm talking a lot of people that they are incorporated and they might feel this way i think it's good to put boundaries and understand that nobody could overstep that boundaries if you don't want to if you don't let them so it is important that you definitely know that you you are in control it's your life okay another thing is sometimes when we don't feel appreciated for what we do that could create burnout I've been there. Sometimes, you know, when you do anything and you are invisible in a company and you are incorporated and you just try to do your best and you do projects and you pitch things and nobody cares about your ideas and things like that. Well, it might happen that you're in the wrong place and you have to move to a place that people appreciate you. Don't cry, don't be the victim and be creative and really take control of your own life. And if someone is not appreciating you, this is not your problem, it's their problem. You could not make the problem of others yours. In this case, it's your job to just make sure that you move on and you keep going and that's all right. And now, now that we have to speak about the things that could cause uh, burnout, there is also ways to recover from the burnout. Obviously, in some points, you're gonna need some help and it's all right. Don't feel bad if you need to speak with someone, you need therapy and you need something. You know what? Vulnerability is a huge power and it's great that you ask for help when you need it. And sometimes it helps to have a mentor, to have a coach, to just rely on someone to come out of this place and figure it out what is the next step when you are in burnout. But another thing is that we could do little things that could change completely the game and how we feel when we are burnout. out. And it's little things, but really, really operate wonders. One of the thing is to get enough sleep. Sometimes we are burnout out because we don't sleep. You see, when I was with that syndrome of being a superhero, superwoman syndrome, I expect that life um, get me by sleeping only four hours a day, five hours maximum. And 
no, it's not working. And that's the reason why I know about burnout because it's not working. So it's good to just have a good night of sleep and to just try to have at least seven hours, eight hours. That's great. Another thing is connect. I mean, connect with people because you need people around you. And sometimes we believe that we could solve everything by ourselves and we feel like, mm, I can do it. It's great. Of course you could do it. But the thing is that it's so much easier when you do it with others. So that to find that connection, to just um, realize that you're not alone is very good. Another thing is, mm, don't feel bad when somebody is like, mm, you know what, they don't take any importance in what you're telling them. That could happen. Sometimes people are not compassionate enough or they don't know about how to handle when you tell them that you're feeling this way. So don't take it personal, just relax with this. Another thing is drink water because in reality, so many times we feel depleted of energy because we forget to drink water. And I know that because sometimes I've been one week, two weeks, just drinking one glass of water a day. And of course, then it comes to a point that you don't feel good, that you're a little bit sad and all of these kind of things and you feel really tired. It is very important also to have rituals and practices because these rituals definitely are very good to be away from, um, from that kind of feeling. And it's a very healing practice. When you have a morning practice and a night practice, I already spoke about it. I already shared with you what is my routines, but to create your own routine is gonna be wonderful. Maybe in the morning, uh, just a nice walk and just moving your body or dancing a little bit or just writing in a journal, reading at least one hour a day is good, 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 good stuff. Another thing that is very good, besides your rituals, which as I said, I recommend to have morning rituals and night rituals is to unplug, disconnect. You see the anxiety that sometimes give us to go into the social media because on top of everything that we need to do, we also have to respond to so many messages, putting likes to people and that creates so many issues because sometimes people get mad because in the moment that you are one or two weeks without responding to these messages or to liking a picture, they might feel offended, but that's all right. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's the own thing. What you need to do is to really unplug, to really disconnect and social media really could be really bad. So sometimes I advise between every six weeks to just have at least 24 hours of connection. That's amazing. <laughs> Another thing that really helps very good with burnout is prioritize fun. How many times we do something that is really fun? I ask myself during the day, what can I do that I really feel that is fun? That is not things that I have to do or that I impose myself to do, <laughs> but really things that makes me happy and makes me feel that I'm having fun. So all of us, we have certain things that could make us feel this way. We need to look for these things. And it is good to do that, you know, to just, find a moment to have fun. So this is really things that I believe that could help you, but also practices like meditation could be extremely powerful because sometimes our mind is always run, 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 run. And meditation is like to give a shower to the mind and say, you know what, stay quiet for a little bit. Leave me alone. And it's good that you tell this to your mind sometimes and it may take three minutes. Hmm. You breathe and you feel so much better. So this is it for today, just a little tips. Um, but if you know what things cause burnout and you don't do them, then it's better. And if you do all the things that really could create burnout recovery, of course, also will help and you will not get there. Anyway, have a beautiful week. Remember, I love you. If you like the video and if you know someone that could benefit from this video, please share. Share is caring. And I will see you next week. Ciao, ciao.